Hey guys and gals, Dave Moore with OnlineMarketingSociety.com. Just wanted to uh, show you how to install plugins today, or at least my set of preferred plugins. This is all assuming you have stuck with uh, my plan, or at least the plan that I think is best for to get started with, and that's using the Thesis theme. If you're not using Thesis, some of these plugins won't work, and you'll need others that I um, don't use because I have Thesis. So first thing you need to do is go to Online Marketing Society dot com forward slash plugins everything's lowercase uh, once you get to plugins this is going to pop up you'll be able to save this um, just hit OK alright once you've located that folder or the zip file in this case right click on it extract to here whether you're using RAR WinZip doesn't matter uh, one of them will have an extract to here that'll open up everything in here all right, uh, there is an extra one in here. I'm going to show you how to install plugins a different way also. So the next thing you need to do is go over to your FTP and you want to sign in to your site. So we're going to do that real quick. Once you're in your site, you want to go to WP Content and then Plugins. Uh, delete everything that's there. Whoops. Well, don't delete the index.php. Delete the uh, that one and this one. Uh, so you want to delete hello and you want to delete the uh, askament. And then you want to head on over on this side to the folder that you just dropped your plugins in. And in my case, it would be. here. Now you want to highlight the first one, hold down the shift key, scroll down to the last folder, leave those two alone, um, click on the bottom one, that'll highlight everything, and then just left click inside the blue and drag it over to your server and it'll take a few minutes here to upload and I'll be back with you when it's uploaded. Okay, now that they're all uploaded, we need to go over to our site and sign into our site. I've already done that. And then we want to go to um, Plugins. Now, we don't have to install anything because they're already installed. The next thing we want to do is just click on this top link here and do a bulk activate and apply. And give it a minute here. All right, now we get all kinds of ugly red things. Uh, never fear. You got to get a uh, a um, an API key. This is for uh, WordPress.com stats, and it also runs your Askimit. So just go ahead and click on the uh, link here that takes you over to get your key. Uh, keys are free, although you can pay for a key, and apparently it's supposed to be better. Click on that login button up there, and then we'll click on they get your free account and just create a username, a password, uh, confirm it your email address. Um, read this, make sure you agree to their terms and conditions. You don't want a blog, you just want a username. So we will hit the next button, uh, put your first name in last name, fill out a little bit about yourself if you want. You'll have to go back to your email account and activate the link, so just go back to your email account, open up the email, click on the link, and it'll activate, and you're ready to go. Next thing is, is we need to log in. Now we're logged in. Okay, once you've signed into your WordPress.com um, account, you're going to go to your profile, your profile, and right up here is your API key. Copy. Go back to your blog. Uh, in order to sign in, you have to type in wp-admin behind it. And go back over here to WordPress.com stats. Put in your API key. Hit save. Uh, go ahead and add this uh, WordPress.com or add this, this blog basically to your WordPress.com account. Uh, you're almost ready. Here's the uh, ask it. This is the the spam key. Click on that. All right, and paste your key there. I would click on that if 
you um, aren't going to get in there to be able to manage it all the time. Uh, update options. Go back to uh, plugins. Just click on the, the top bar. All right, we're back here. Now, there are some things that you should know right off the bat. Um, plugins do require you to update them periodically. Anytime you come in and see a message like this, depending on the plugin, you know, if it's a brand new one, I don't normally upgrade right away. I'll let them sit for a little while before I upgrade. Uh, you can just hit the upgrade automatically. It fills out all this. Uh, don't, don't return to the page until you see this line here where it says it's activated successfully or reactivated successfully. And you can return back to this page. Now that's how we install. I'm actually going to build a video for you and go through and show you how to um, set up some of these because some of them actually do require some setup um, and some of them don't. So that's generally it for plugins. There's, we can do two other, you can go to add new plugin. There's two ways to do this. You can search for plugins. So if you type in um, just a keyword or maybe you happen to know the, the plugin name that you're looking for, you can type your term in there. You can hit search plugins. It'll take you over to the, um, the WordPress site and you can scroll through and see all the different um, types of of uh, plugins that they have. Uh, then you will find your plugin, whatever that happens to be. You'll hit install. Install again. And then if you want to activate it, you'd activate it. Otherwise, you just leave it alone. Um, I'm assuming if you went out there to get something, you would activate the plugin. It would go through that whole thing that we've already seen before, and you'd be good to go. Now, there's one other way to install plugins. And that is to go back to plugins and then add new and then upload. And then you can browse your hard drive for a plugin. And I left one undone so we could do this. Um, it, it would be in a zip file typically. You would just click on that, hit install now. Same thing comes up, hit activate. Let it do its crunching, and voila, it is installed. And if you want to delete a plugin, um, two things here: you can click on one and go up here to deactivate if you need to. This one's already deactivated. If you need to delete it, just hit delete, and then yes, delete files, and it is officially deleted. Uh, I will show you how to set this up later and I'll also show you that it can be a royal pain in the beginning but it's something you want ultimately. So that's it for plugins. That's the baseline plugins. These are the base plugins I use on a thesis theme. So once again, Dave Moore with OnlineMarketingSociety.com. Thanks for your time. Hope you enjoyed it.